Let me show you how I sync audio with video and screen recordings in Camtasia. You'll find this helpful if you record your audio separate from your video like I do with an external mic that's not connected to my camera. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. I've got a sample project open and there are three pieces of media in here. I've got an audio recording, a screen recording, and a video recording. Now, I recorded all three of these things separately. There are times when you may want to do that. For instance, I always record my audio separate because I do editing to my audio uh, before I bring it into Camtasia. So I record it outside of Camtasia in a separate software. I use Adobe Edition. Uh, and then once I do my editing to that audio, I then bring it into Camtasia and I sync it up with the video clips. Um, so let me demonstrate how I do this. So first thing we want to do is we want to bring all of these clips down to the timeline. So let's drag them one at a time. We'll bring the audio clip down, uh, then let's bring the screen recording. This is the order I usually do it because uh, uh, the video of myself I usually put on top of the video recording, so we'll drop that down as well. Uh, and as you'll notice, all three of these video clips have audio captured as well. So. Um, uh, my screen recording, the way I captured the screen was I used OBS. Uh, and in OBS, I also captured the audio. Uh, so that's why there's audio here in the screen uh, clip. Uh, the video clip, I used my Sony camera here and it has a built-in microphone, so it captured audio. Uh, and then here is the, it's called slow motion processed. So I always add a processed at the end of the file name to my audio files after I've processed the audio. That means, so I, I've added, uh, I used an equalizer, I added some compression and some things like that to make it sound better. And I'll actually do a video on, on what I do to my audio in the future. So now before we get to editing this uh, project, the first thing we need to do is we need to sync up these three things. What I do is with the audio visible, these audio waveforms visible in all these tracks, we simply have to look for similarities in them and sync them up. Um, now it might look kind of daunting, but uh, if, you, if you really look at them, you'll, you'll start to see where they do match up. For instance, there I'm lining this second one up with the first one and you just want to get it close at first. So I know I hit record on my video camera before I hit record on the screen recording and then I hit record on the audio in my software third. You can kind of tell that that, that lines up, right? So then what you want to do, once you get it close, put your playhead over top of the part you want to zoom in on and then you want to zoom in like this. Now to make this easier, what you should do is you should go up to view and you want to uncheck enable timeline snapping. Okay, so with that unchecked, you'll be able to move these a frame at a time. Okay, that makes it much easier uh, uh, to actually line them up perfectly. So let's go ahead and try to line these up. See, if they're not lined up, let's just quickly play a little, a little portion of this. Test, test. <clears throat> okay, hey, okay, test, 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 test. test, test. Actually, I have to put my uh, my headphones on. So let's play this. <clears throat> okay, hey, okay, test, 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 test. So you can obviously tell it's not lined up. So let's go ahead and try to line these up a little bit better. And as I say, you can do it. You can eyeball it as best you can. And then you want to zoom in. And just do a little test. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's move to a... I was still getting set up there, so that's probably a part I'm going to cut out anyways. Test, test, test. Okay, let's move over to here. So I've got a sample project open. Okay, that's starting to sound good. Let's zoom in on this part now. So I've got a sample project. I think I've, I've nailed it already. You can zoom all the way in here. Now it looks like, so they're never gonna perfectly line up because different microphones are capturing different things. Um, but uh, so this one looks like it's a little ahead of the second track. But if we dropped it back like this, let's just see. So oh, I've got, got a sample. sample. I hear an echo. So that means they aren't quite lined up. And you can tell if you, if you move further down the line here, down here, for instance, it's it's pretty obvious that they're out of sync. So let's go ahead and move this one back here. 
This one maybe move this way a bit. Let's see what that sounds like. Sample project open. Still a bit of an echo. Try that. Sample project open. I think that's pretty good. So let's zoom back out. In fact, I'm now going to highlight all three of these and then I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to delete those ones. Okay, and then we'll want to bring this back towards the beginning. So I've got a sample project open. Okay, and then once you have the audio clips all lined up and I've got them all cut in the same place, I'm going to go back up to view. I'm going to re-enable timeline snapping. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is, uh, let's remember which one was our good audio. That's this one that I processed and you can, you can tell the difference. So if I, if I mute these two tracks, you can hear what the audio sounds like out of my camera. I've got a sample project open and I have three people. Okay. Now let's compare that to this one, which was my good, my good audio. So I've got a sample project open. Okay. Sounds a whole lot better. Okay. So now we know which one is our, our good audio, which is this one. So for these two, let's highlight both of these. We'll right click and I'm going to click on silence audio. Okay. That gets rid of the audio on those first two on, on track, uh, this track here and this track, the screen recording and the video. So now we just have the one audio well, track. I've got a sample project open. And okay, and now you can do things like, uh, so for this video, typically you'd want to shrink that down, maybe put it in the corner or over on the side somewhere. I've got a sample project open and I have three pieces just like that. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to do in Camtasia, let me know in the comments below. I live stream Camtasia tutorials at one o'clock Tuesdays for about one hour. I do demo requests and answer your questions live. If you're looking to improve your Camtasia videos, join me in the next live stream. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. Bye for now.